Hi Virgo, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your love reading real quick. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is general, as you know, cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. I do want to go over the cards that you got in the pre-shuffle and at least show them to you. We'll get into them deeper before we get into them deeper. But um, anyway, roles can be reversed and intermingle. They can flip around. It's not gender specific. So if I say he, she, ignore me. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. Don't we all need to be reminded of that once in a while? Um, <clears throat> so it's not gender specific. Did I say that? Thank you for visiting my channel. If you are new, welcome. The roll, the free readings and gift cards are given away randomly to subscribers through the comments. So we looks like we have a strong, you know, soul connection. For many of you, could be in a twin flame. We have mirroring going on here, um, but we also have separation, and we have looks like a, you know, back and forth, a, a juggling act of, you know, wanting to go in fast and passionately and just, you know, uh, tackle it or, uh, you know, give it your all with, with, um, s being slow and stable and steady about it. So a lot of, you know, all over the place energy, it, and I don't think it's just you. I think it's them too. It could be just them, but it's definitely here. Okay. So we have two cups, divine partnership. We have the empress. Um, and these are messages. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving. Okay. Your words still linger and the connection still affects me. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. And then we'll go over these two also later. I like to show you guys these just as a preview. This is powerful. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Here's mirroring, you know, which amplifies this twin flame, um, divine partnership. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, <laughs> the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. How about that? All right, so let's get started. These are already shuffled, but we'll just give them a couple rounds. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are setting your intentions before you go to bed and when you wake up. And I, have, um, I pray for you guys every day. I hope you guys are praying for each other. Let's get started. Love and blessings to all those regions. Okay, your current energy. There you are, Knight of Swords. I think you're like really kind of struggling with that. Oh, I just want to go rush in and tell them how I feel and just lay it all out there, you know? And that's what's on your mind. Oh, wow. Overall energy, the devil. Maybe there's some obsession here. This also could be bad habits. It could be negative thinking. It could be um, self-medication. We're going to have to find out more. But Capricorn energy. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. That's how they view you. That's health, wealth, happiness, everything. Unless they're just seeing you as somebody that has a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, could be, that's not what I'm getting, but we'll find out more. Five of Wands, how they view you, maybe combative, argumentative, irritable, maybe irritated. So there, that would kind of go along with that. Um, don't get mad at me. I mean, just reading the cards, but this is maybe competitive. Also, that could be an indication of feeling, they may think that you think you're always right. Could that be? Which... Again, I feel like could be mirroring. You might mirror each other in that way, you know. Um, how they view the situation under the devil card, this eight of swords. They feel tied, can't can't get out of it, can't let go, and but they but they're crazy about you, isn't that something? Oh, how they see moving forward, painful ending. We had that here too, somewhere. Yeah. So you guys must be in separation. It's hurting them. It's probably hurting you. <clears throat> Tarot's advice, or what you cannot see, King of Pentacles, stability. 
So you may not know that they're feeling pretty uh, steady on how they feel about you. Nine of Wands. Wow, so Tarot's advice if you choose to take it, Nine of Wands is not giving up. You know, it's 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 going the distance. It's it's prevailing, persevering. Outcome is death and ending, so we'll dig into what that's about. So this could be ending. I mean, it already has ending, ended. Um, hmm. That's very conflicting, right? Bottom of the deck is the chariot. Wow, look at that. Forward motion and divine direction towards new love or a new love beginning. Could be with this person. Could not be. I'm not sure. But it does look like, it just looks like there's a a, 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 a tug of war going on here. You love each other, but it, there's like an obsession of, of not being able to let go, but there's conflict too, you know, which could obviously be part of a twin flame journey. If you guys think you're on a twin flame journey, all my, all my videos are timeless as well as the extended. The extended are really good. I just don't do them that often because partly because they are so good. So feel free to check those out. You can always check out the trailer, but they're very strong, um, twin flame journey readings. Okay. And they're, and they're very detailed. So seven of swords, Hmm. Deception. Somebody's not been honest. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Love. Queen of Cups. Emotional. The Queen of Cups is somebody who can shut off that love when she needs to, but it looks like somebody was giving love pretty freely with this nine of, um, Knight of Wands. Well, let's keep going. Why do we have the Devil card here? I, I mean, it looks like a, a chase is happening. It looks like a runner and a chaser. And it also looks like you guys are mirroring. So it looks like it goes back and forth. Why do we have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles? The Hanging Man. And I just saw the Queen of Wands. Yeah, action. <sighs> there might be a struggle to be right or to be heard or to feel understood. Um, you know, just because somebody doesn't do things your way doesn't mean it's wrong or does, it, and it may not be the best way. Like you may even be right. Your way may be better, but that doesn't mean it has to be your way to still be okay. Sometimes it's better to not have things perfect, but to have, uh, you know, not have to control the other person. Yeah. I feeling, I feeling an element of controlling control here. Somebody communicated that they were leaving the situation is what I feel. I'm also feeling um, Queen of Cups, so maybe harsh words spoken, but it's all a freaking facade. I mean, <laughs> let's see, how does Virgo feel about the person? I mean, you guys are marrying each other. Crazy. How does Virgo feel? Hmm. That's celebration. Could be drinking too much. Maybe you feel like they drink too much. Maybe they drink are un when they're under the influence. No, this is hard. I think they come and go, or you do. And then there's a there's a push and pull about making sure it doesn't happen again. But there's a need for an apology, it looks like. Um, tell me about this death card. Yeah, I think you may have to be okay on your own for a while or your person might. Somebody's got to gain their, their footing and their ability to not be right. Like it's, it's, it's like, do they have to be right all the time? Does it have to be, um, do we have to push our 
thoughts or our thinking on the other person and something to the degree of we don't have to sweep it under the there's a middle ground there's a place where you can say you don't have to sweep it under the rug if you don't agree you guys are just stuck in a vicious cycle i think we need to get some oracles for divide for device for d advice two of wands which way to go you guys just don't know um but what I was saying is you can, you can, you don't have to sweep it under the rug or fight it out, right? There is an element because this is saying, you know, protect yourself, hold, hold your ground. Let me see. But I feel like you guys are like, it, it, if they don't see things your way or you don't see things your, their way, then it's at a standstill where it doesn't have to be. It can be, Hey, you know, it's almost like you guys are forgetting to, to agree to disagree. Um, why do we have the death card? Something's ending. So you can have a new beginning. Release the baggage and then look at the bottom of the deck. I think for a lot of you, there's a, a self-medication issue. Something like that. But, I mean, my goodness, we have a lot of major arcana. Two swords. My goodness, I think somebody is just kind of, is there, could there, is, is there just an addiction to fighting or being right or drama? Let me, let me know in the comments. This is confusing. Definitely looks like soul, soulmate twin flame. Definitely looks like an obsession. But it doesn't... I don't see really any good resolution. That's... An, okay, there's a lot of love. What should Virgo do? I just like stabbed myself in the eye a, a minute ago in this reading. It's so weird. Um, temperance. Control your emotions, maybe. You're stressing me out, Virgo. What's the deal? So, it may have to end to come back. If this is ending, if you guys are in separation, please don't sit around and wait for someone. You know, take that energy and that fire and that sadness you feel and turn it into something playful, even if it has to be in another area. Maybe you guys just need a break, um, but there's some lessons that need to be learned here. There's growth, but please never sit around and wait for somebody, you know. Turn that energy onto yourself. It, it, this person, it, it, you're their ten of pentacles, right? There's a total obsession. It looks like on both way, on both sides, and here we are again. There's a push pull between polar opposites. Does it have to be all way one way or another? Is what I feel like. Maybe somebody needs to let go of being wrong or being right. It's interesting. I said that backwards. But they definitely, it doesn't look like it's over. It looks like it might even develop into a stronger relationship. But there is a need for, um, and here's your strong, strong message. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. I would take a screenshot of that. And then here also, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Let's do it. Let's do a yes, no. Let's do that. So you guys take a deep breath. 
Oh, I need to read these to you, I think. But be thinking about a yes, no. So I think that you may ha need to let this person go because look at this. A chance meeting is no mistake. It's divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiar familiarity, comfort, and safety. So, I, I mean, it's so important you guys know that you're not tied to one person. Your happiness do, does not depend on one person, especially if it's toxic. So try to adopt that, that attitude of, if this is a happy place, then great. But if it's not, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move forward onto my happy place because n there is never a situation, soulmate, twin flame or not, there is never a situation where you are doomed to be with someone because they're your twin flame and it's miserable. If it doesn't work out in this relationship, it doesn't mean you're not twin flames or it doesn't mean, or in this lifetime, it doesn't mean you're not twin flames or it doesn't mean you're not soulmates. But there's freedom of choice. You are not doomed to be unhappy because your person isn't treating you right. Okay. So there are always, it's, there's a saying, um, love, love or love interests are like buses. There's always another one around the corner and it sounds terrible, but I promise you, promise you there are hundreds, if not thousands of people you could be happy with. But you have to be open to it. And what happens when you are open to it is you put yourself in a higher vibration of being desirable. And then, of course, naturally, this seems to come back around. This person does want to reconcile. There is an obsession with being together or being right. Okay. But look at this. To heal your financial situation, first give your worries concerning money to us. We'll guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to a higher frequency. So that's strong here. You guys need to, and they do too. I know we have another one, but I'm going to go ahead and read this. I mean, let you ask your question. So take a deep breath and ask your question. We'll let, let go of the pendulum and then we'll go back to those. One question. Focus on one question. You can't change your mind if you want a good reading or a good answer. Okay. Strong energy here about um, staying in your empress energy and attracting similar, you know, you're going to attract positive or negative vibrations, whatever you are emitting. So make sure you stay in and ask for help, but stay in your positive energy. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated, oxy, oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Try again. Spend time outside today as near. So I feel like some of you tried to go outside and do something healthy yesterday. And that try again might be um, in, having to do with that. Try again if you did and couldn't because it rained or something. Spend time outside as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains. Let the light in. I said that. And windows to refresh your home as well. Okay. Your answer is definitely... All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Let me know in the in the comments. Sorry this was a little all over the place. I do think it was a reflection of what's going on. You guys are mirroring each other and you, it's like um the 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 things you don't like about them are things you don't like or the things that you have in in yourself, okay? So lots of mirroring going on. Check out the Twin Flame Extended if you like and I love you and I will see you soon. Bye, Virgo.